welcome back to a Let's Us Play Space Chem. I got a suggestion sent to me, and they sent me an image this time. And this is the image I'm going to be looking at and trying to work with as best of my ability. And it's for the in-place swap. Now, I've already gone and done this before. I did another video where I tried to do this. My audio was so bad, and as you can see, we have pretty much everything the same here as I have done it. And so this is what happens when I hit the play. So it waits a bit. He bonds it. Blue comes and grabs. Red comes and grabs. problem that's going to happen. Yeah, there's our problem. Red's waiting for a synchronization to go and come over here. And it's going to wait for another synchronization. And then a yet another synchronization. And then it's going to go up here. Grab it by this, then come down, drop it, then it's going to rotate nothing, then it's going to go up, and start the process again. However, blue's trapped over here. Blue cannot do a thing about it. In fact, I could try to do instead of going this way. Because you want it to drop, then output, then sync. Well, blue's still gonna have to come around and get out of this route somewhere. If I do this, we still get the same path. I can tell blue to go up over and it's going to synchronize there to let this one go through and it has to do it two more times and then it'll be should be good so let's try that let's see if this little modification helps There we go. And now it all works. We are geniuses. And we did it with only one reactor. Well done, you put us in this par, hooray! Our cycles are really high though, and we used a lot more symbols. But we only used one reactor, and to me, that's a better win. And that's it for this episode. See you next time on Let's Us Play or Let's Play.